Hi everyone, Drini here, and welcome to my channel. So if you notice, the crypto markets have been down, but all gaming cryptos seem to really skyrocket into space. Some are already testing their all-time highs like Gala, and some have started to make their resurgence. So today we're going to take a look at Polis just to see what's going on and how do we map our way forward. So looking at the Polis price action, what we can see here is we have finally broken out of our EMAs right here. Also, because we have been trading Polis for a while now, the EMAs have started to come out. And for the first time, we are starting to form a golden cross right here, assuming, of course, that we keep holding structure. So we're going to track Polis's long-term prospects moving forward from here. But in the meantime, let's look at shorter time frames just to see what's going on and how we actually got to this bullish continuation. So on a four-hour time frame over the past week or so, we have started to form bullish structures. What do I mean? If you notice right here, we have formed a double bottom right here. And with a double bottom, it is only bullish if you break this particular neckline right here of around $7.83. This is why necklines are very important. So the WW bottom right here is only bullish if you break out of the neckline. And look at what happened when we finally broke the neckline right here. It went all the way up to space. So you're probably wondering, where do we go from here? Over the short term, we did have technical targets of $9.23. How did we get that technical target? So this is where you lay out the height of the W bottom right here, overlay it to when the price broke out, and look at where the candle is sitting now we have officially met this technical target of $9.23. So given that, we have validated our structures now. This W double bottom is a check. This technical target is a check. And from here, I won't be surprised if traders or investors start taking short-term profits from here. So what's probably going to happen is you'll probably consolidate from here, assuming, of course, we don't just blast off into space. But if we do consolidate over the short term, what we will be forming now would be a bigger bullish structure right here, which is a cup and handle. So now that we have met our technical targets here, we are now forming a much bigger bullish structure called the cup and handle right here. So with cup and handle patterns, what you can expect is if investors or traders realize profits from here, expect some crabbing action from here or some consolidation, why? Because we are forming this handle right here. The cup and handle is a bullish structure, but only if we break this neckline once again. So $9.25 is our current target, or where the price levels are currently are. If we consolidate, break this, backtest this neckline as support before continuation, then we are good to go. So now that Polis is back on its bullish continuation and we have started to form a golden cross on a daily time frame, or we are starting to form one on a daily time frame, assuming we hold the structure and we don't fall back down, what, what will happen moving forward? We are most likely going to experience a five wave Elliott wave structure. Now, how it normally goes is when we don't know when we need to chart our way forward, this is where Fibonacci retracements become very useful. So what you do is you overlay your fibs right here. So this is the local high right here. And this is the local bottom right here. Then expect the five wave run up that will eventually reach conservatively our 1618 destination of $40.27. How we get there is most likely a five wave structure. So assuming that this is wave one, so let's say we have a wave one that goes all the way, let's say to the 050 to be conservative, most likely correct to the 382 right here, then blast our way to the 1272 of around $26.59, have a correction to the one of around $19.18 before our eventual destination of $40 right here. So this is what we're going to track moving forward. But that's, of course, assuming that we have to continue to hold the EMAs. So we have to be above the EMAs to really be able to materialize our Elliott Wave structure. And that's it. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Also, let me know what you think in the comments. If you also have other gaming cryptos that you would like me to look at, just leave it down in the comments below, and I'll take a look at it in the future. 
Until then, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.